Well, good morning, everybody. We're here picking up more of this steel again. Gotta watch these edges that so they don't eat through my tarps. So we're not 63,000 pounds, or this isn't 63,000 pounds of steel this time. This time it's only 56,000 pounds. So we got our chains crisscrossed at the front there, protecting it from either going side to side or, you know, flying off the front if I have to hit the brakes really hard and into my step. Oh, we got the same at the back there doing the same thing there. I did a mixture of straps and chains on this load. This load, like I said, is 56,000 pounds. I have enough securement on here for about 65,000 pounds. So she won't be going anywhere. Just getting our tarps done today. Make it all nice and pretty, put our flags on it, our oversized load signs, clean ourselves up, and we'll be on our way. This load is going to Alberta. So it's a four day drive from here. But I can't drive at night in Ontario on the two lanes, so it might turn into four and a half because it's already noon. By the time I get out of here, it'll be a little later yet. So I don't know. Get as far as we can today. We'll just see what happens. It's going to be heavy though. It's not 63,000, but it's still heavy. 56,000 pounds. That's a, that's a lot for this old Volvo. It's a lot for the old girl. Hope you hope you're up to the challenge. There we go. All tied down, looking pretty. All my securement is under the tarp there. A little bit windy out here. That should be fun. Got our little lights out here that tell everybody, hey, I'm a little wider than you think. Watch out flags if you don't see all this flags and signage man you should probably go home you should be at home anyway all right everybody stay out of my way okay this is heavy and i just want to get it to where it needs to go safely all right so my my first initial reaction on the new steer tires under load i'm impressed hashtag impressed uh, we haven't gone very far yet. We're waiting for them to, you know, properly warm up and wear in. But that, along with those balancing rims, I'm impressed. It's amazing how much shaking and uncomfortableness just a couple of bad tires can do. What it can do, right? I'm going to have to look at my shocks on my front end as well, because that could be what might have been causing the, the cupping. And I still got a little bit of a shake in my truck. I don't know if that's coming from the trailer or not, or, you know, a little bit of shake is okay. But wow, is it, it's a lot better. So my next thing I'm gonna have to look at is the front end shocks. Might need to get those replaced. And you know, by, by the time I'm done with all this stuff, I might just overhaul this engine. I've practically got a brand new truck already. All I need is a new engine and we're golden. We're good to go for another three, four, five years. Uh, I'm just glad that I solved the problem. It, it, it's weird because the steer tire shake that I was dealing with, it felt like it was an engine stutter, like an engine hiccup, like the engine was starving for fuel, but I couldn't figure it out because I had full power. And I had no problem starting the truck. Usually if you have air in your fuel system, you'll have trouble starting your vehicle. Never had any problems like that. So it all came from the tires. And who knows, like this little bit of a, little bit of a vibration I still got, a little bit of a shake. I can feel it on my steering wheel. Oh wait, now it's gone. Yeah, that might have just been the road. Could just be the road. It's hard to tell. I've dealt with so many shakes in the trucks that I've owned in my lifetime already that I pretty much narrowed it down. When my truck starts shaking, I, I'm pretty good at pinpointing where it's coming from. But this time it got me. I've never had steer tires shake in such a irregular way that it felt like an engine stutter. It was so weird. It looks like we got our problems fixed. Uh, at least one of them. 
I mean, there's always more problems. I was telling you that the other day, right? This is trucking. Uh, problems every day. I don't know what the problem will be today, but yesterday's problem has been solved, so that's good. I would really appreciate it if we could wait about six months for the next problem to show itself, but once again, this is trucking. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hallelujah, we are out of Toronto. Thank God. Oh, I can breathe again. You know, the traffic wasn't so bad, but, you know, but I'm just going to say for a quarantine, that's quite a bit of traffic still. A lot of you people just... <laughs> you got to be careful, you people. Don Terry got in trouble for saying that. You people. All you people on the road. Crazy Torontoners. In 100 meters, keep to the left on Highway 400. We're going to go in here, wash our hands, grab some Timmy's, and then continue on our way. I want this spot right here. This is my spot. I picked this one. I'm hoping to make it up to North Bay tonight yet before the sun goes down. I don't know we're going to make it. But we're going to get as far as we can. Got to get further than this, so this won't be a very long stop. Well, it's the next morning and we're continuing our journey. Woke up in the morning and it was still here. And we're still in the exact same spot as we went to sleep in. So that's good. So we do have the tri-axle, which means this load has a little bit of extra weight allowance, you might say. You can haul more weight with more axles. It spreads the, spreads the overall weight out more over the truck. Pardon me, over the road. I'm still waking up here. I haven't even had my coffee yet. We're not that oversized. We're just uh, 10 foot. So... It's those sheets of steel. But like I was saying earlier, I'm glad it's not as heavy as last time. You really notice that difference. I guess, what did I say? This is 56,000? 6,000 pounds less than the last load. And boy, do I feel the difference. Feels a lot better. So I'm just doing the pre-trip, making sure everything's working here. Gonna run in, grab a coffee. And uh, we'll continue this vlog on down the road to Capus Casey. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in North Bay, Ontario. Look at this. Blue skies, hardly a cloud in the sky. Spring is in the air. The flowers are not yet blooming, but the, you know they're coming. They're coming. Just pretend. They'll be here soon. This is Canada. This isn't Virginia. I have my friends in Virginia that have been showing me all the greenery they got there already. Must be nice. They've got a Tim Hortons right over here. And so far, every Tim Hortons has been open for takeout. I've heard reports in the news of truckers blocking drive throughs or whatever, or protesting that Tim Hortons isn't open. I don't know how it is where you guys are, but Everywhere I've been, right across the country, every Tim Hortons has been open. You just walk in. I mean, you can't sit down and eat and have your coffee inside, but they'll give you your coffee and let you walk out. Yep, they're open. So, I mean, you, like I said, you can't eat inside because of the virus right now. But you can walk in there and get a coffee for takeout. I don't know what people are getting so upset about. They keep saying can't find coffee anywhere. All the truck stops are open. They have coffee. Timmy says coffee. You can get food at Timmy's too. I don't know what people are always talking about. Like, where are all these stores closed? And where are all these places that are refusing service to truckers? Can't find them anywhere. We've all seen those posts online, right? truckers whining and complaining saying oh they can't find a hot meal anywhere they can't find bathrooms anywhere they can't find coffee anywhere and they're going crazy and getting on the news and the news keeps covering these guys and I'm, I'm wondering like 
Where are these guys that they can't get a coffee, can't get bathrooms? I don't have mentioned this before, but it was in the news again last night. Saying, oh, truckers are essential workers. They can't find food or bathrooms. And coffee. I haven't had one problem. I don't know. Maybe it's where I'm not driving. Maybe it's in other areas. I keep bringing it up because I feel bad. Because there's tons of people out there asking how difficult it is out there for us. You know, there's lots of people like uh, going out of their way to bring truckers hot food. And I don't want to discourage that. I mean, a free meal is always very nice, but I don't know what these claims are based on. There could be other states, I guess, because I know in the US every state is different and some governors are going crazy right now with the, almost draconian and how they're blocking and banning everything. So it, like I said, it's probably different in different areas. But right across Canada, from Ontario all the way to British Columbia, every truck stop has been open for me. Every bathroom, I haven't been refused a bathroom anywhere. I've been able to get hot food takeout at any restaurant I want to. All restaurants were open just for takeout, just couldn't eat in. All Tim Hortons are open for coffee. Every truck stop's open. All their showers are open and clean. And I saw an article, maybe it's still on here, on my phone. Oh, it's probably out here. It says, truck driver blocks BC Tim Hortons drive through sparking new carryout option. It's happened in Chilliwack, British Columbia. I was in Chilliwack not too long ago. I mean, maybe they've changed their laws and they've shut down Tim Hortons to people. But this guy's like blocking the drive through protesting that he can't get a coffee. Saying the truck drivers are essential, they need their coffee. I'm like, I agree with that. We need our coffee. We are essential. But, I mean, what do you mean we can't get our coffee? Why, are, why Why? is this news? We're fine. But like I said, maybe it's different there. So let us know down below in the comment section if it's different where you are. Are you still able to get a coffee? Are you still able to find showers? And are you still able to find food? Okay, because remember, grocery stores are still all open. We can carry food in our trucks. We got fridges in the truck. What's going on? Why is this always in the news? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm fine anyway, and I've been fine this whole time, but maybe that'll change. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I was gonna take us up to Capus Casey on this vlog, but I think we've uh, talked long enough about our coffee situation because I've been very excited. This is for me. So we'll uh, start right here tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video.